Welcome back, family. And if you're new to the series, my wife and I stepped out on faith and bought a 21 acre property in 2022 and immediately got to work renovating the inside of it so that we could get it to a place where we were comfortable enough to move in. And we also immediately got to work on our garden area so we could start growing our own produce for our cold pressed juice business. We got to work laying all of the mulch down for our orchard area. And then after that, we started putting in all of the soil and compost for our market garden style beds. Then we pulled out some tarps to get all the weeds and everything up there covered. And very recently, we just got a fence put in to protect our investment from all of the wildlife that we have running around out here. So now that we have all of that accomplished, in today's video, we're gonna be getting our last bit of garden prep done. We're gonna be throwing in our first transplants for the juice business. And we're also gonna do a couple other little fun projects around the house, along with open up a little surprise that one of our subscribers sent us. Welcome back everyone. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Gerald. I'm Simone. And today, it's finally time to start getting some of the transplants in for our juices. It's 70 degrees. Yeah, it's good I, and warm. I feel like I'm yelling, still getting used to the mic. Yeah. You can hear me. A couple weeks ago, Simone and I did a video showing our, planting our little transplants and whatnots, get our seeds started. And they've been outside hardening off for a couple of days now. I keep moving them inside and outside, inside and outside. Mm -hmm. And some of y'all were wondering <coughs> about my onions, because in that video, I said I've been gardening for five or six years and I've yet to have any successful onions. I come with good news. Look. Onions. <laughs> and I know y'all probably gonna be like, what'd you do different this time? Nothing. I did the exact same thing I do every year. Did you use different seeds? No. Hmm. I, I use, yeah, I, I have no, I have no clue. I guess the other years, like some years I, they would sprout, some years they wouldn't. The years that they would sprout, they would just like die or something. I'm not sure if the environment was a little different. I don't know what it was, but I really didn't do that much new. So finally got some onions. The focus is going to be on the celery and kale because the market season is getting ready to pick up real quick and we got to get this stuff in so we can have some stuff for our juices. Yep. Uh, the outdoor market starts in May. Yep. So that's exciting. Did I already say 70 degrees? I think I did, but I can't get over it. Aside from transplanting, we have a fun surprise also. So stay tuned to the end of the video. Or some, somewhere in this video, you'll see the surprise. What's the surprise? A sign. Oh. <laughs> uh, what about these flowers? Tell them oh, that. Oh, yes. We have some fun new developments on the property. So I feel like every year we learn something new about things that come up, like perennials. Even though we were here last year, it was like our first year, like really taking it in because the first actual year was the year we were doing all the work. So last year was really just time for us to try to take it in. But I swear I did not see these perennials last year. But they're beautiful. I'm loving them. So they're here. There's some in here. These are lilies? No, they're, this means oh, lilies in here. Yes, yeah, These yeah, are. yeah. But I don't know what the, I was talking about the flowers. We knew that the, the lilies were here. So daffodils? lilies. Daffodils? Are these daffodils? I think those, though. They're the same. The ones they? we're going to cut are daffodils. Are they? They're just different color. Oh. Yeah, so these are daffodils. And they, Maybe, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know, but they're gorgeous. The lilies are on their way up. We have more lilies down there. And what are those again? Irises. Our irises These, are very pretty. They're dead right now. Yeah. There's some growth under there, though. I need to clean that up. Yeah. But when they get going, they look real nice. Oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> I wish they lasted longer. They only last like a couple weeks, I felt. So Exciting the, things happening. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do, we got to go up here real quick. We're going to pull this tarps up off these beds, whatever, because it's supposed to rain here in a day or two. Mm -hmm. And some of the areas I don't have exposed, the one big area that had a bunch of weeds in it I was telling you all about, it's probably going to be out of commission all year this year, but I want to get some rain on it throughout the year, get some moisture so the weed seeds under there can germinate. And then I'll pull the tarp back over it so we can kill off everything down there. Yep. So we're going to do that first. There's also a couple beds under there that I'm going to be using this year. 
So I've got to get those exposed too. And then I think while I'm transporting the transplants and stuff up here, once we get done, Simona is going to be picking them flowers. Is that what you want? Yeah, there's some random flowers in the wood. I mean, they're daffodils, but they're growing in the woods where we cannot appreciate them. So I'm going to cut them and bring them inside <laughs> and put them in a pretty vase. So, yeah, I don't know why they're in the woods. They all over the woods. Y'all see when she take y'all back there, it, just a bunch of random flowers sitting yeah. in there. Yeah. But loving this nice weather. Yep. Ooh, we've been too thirsty for it all year. I know. All right, my arm getting tired, so I'm gonna put y'all down for a second. <laughs> all right, guys, so we're getting ready to peel this tarp here back halfway. We are gonna leave the other half on. It's not too windy today. So this shouldn't be too bad. It's a little windy, so we'll see. I can see this elderberry here poking up through the tarp. I had to cut a hole. There's another one down there. But I had to cut a hole in it because the tarp kept blowing up. So I was trying to fit the tarp around it weird. I don't know how to explain it, but I had to cut a hole in the thing. Some people just do that in general. Like they'll lay down black tarp and plastic and stuff. Kind of like Becky Aker does. If y'all watch her at all. She has like that black landscape fabric over her beds. And she has like holes that she plants into. We don't do that. It's nasty water. Look at this big old bug. What is this? Where did he go? Did... You were supposed to keep your eye on it. Woman. Well, he went under here. So he must be going down that path. Flip it up. Right there. Oh, heck no, that's a roach. That is not a roach. It's Some a roach type of water eyes. bug. I gotta go. It's always something. I don't do bugs. All right, you grab that corner. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, We're going that way? Huh? We're going that way. Yes, I answered my own. Yeah. There's so many like dead worms and stuff in here. It's gross. I'm trying to get all this water off first. We finna blow away. Eh? It stinks! Be a bunch of worms and other bugs and leaves and stuff that get stuck in here and it'd be stinking. It stinks, you guys. You guys, this used to be a field of grass and the weeds. Tall. Like, I think Gerald has some footage of when he was getting watermelon out of here you wouldn't even know there was watermelon in this this garden you wouldn't even know this was a garden oh How man crazy it, was. it was nuts nice so y'all can see a bunch of this grass is dead we keep telling you how annoying this grass is look it's still alive and trying to fight it is very very tough grass. We've had these tarps on here since like wow. beginning of September last year. Mm -hmm. and these grass is still fighting. So it's usually best for like quiet grass to put the tarp on and like, like right now or like June or July when it's really hot, that usually kills it off a lot faster. But we put this on at the end of the year. So it had a chance to go dormant. Ooh, it stinks. Right. And you can also kind of see some sprouting already. So this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to get some rain on here, get as much of these seeds in here to sprout and die as possible. Maybe we can pull it off halfway through the year and get them into production. I don't know, we'll see. Once again, all of this can be avoided by not letting your weeds go to seed in your garden, like I did. That's why we're having this problem right now. So. We had a lot going on we do every year we're doing one thing better it's a progression but <laughs> next year we'll probably learn it's something a what again show it's a what it's a progression say it one more time
Now we're gonna do this tarp. We gotta to get all these rocks off of here. And then it should be about time to plant. And we'll show you the surprise. I know I know that's what you guys are waiting for. I'm waiting too, because it's gonna be a surprise for us as well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see you on the ticket. As y'all can see, a hot mess over here. I cannot stress enough. Do not let your weeds go to seed in your garden. Do not do it. Don't do it. All right, we're gonna leave these tarps off, let some rain get on them, cover them back up in a couple of days. And now we're going to go ahead and pick some of these flowers. We were gonna bring the transplants up. We're always gonna start bringing them up, but we might wait until tomorrow to do it when it starts raining. I like to do transplants when it rains. So we'll pick these flowers and then show you guys the surprise and then do transplants. I already got these beautiful vases. I thrifted both of them. I love the vases that have like the little claw feet. So cute. I feel like we should do this outside because it's such a nice day. So maybe we could drop these off in the back. Like, oh my gosh, girl. <laughs> you mm -mm. Okay. Got our basket. Let's go pick some flowers. Marble, would you like to come, girl? Huh? Come on. Your husband's right here. Hello, Shadow. Hello, Shadow. Coming up upon our first one. This is just a single flower, but Our first one. I'm on a mission to find an actual flower basket. This is just, I don't think this is one, but you know, flower baskets allow the flowers to lay flat. So in my thrifting trips, I'm on the hunt for one. We're entering the woods where these flower patch is and we can't enjoy these here. So we're gonna Snip, snip some, and take them in the house. Come on, the cats. Come on, Shadow. They smell kind of good. Yeah, they do. We're going to put these in a vase and hopefully they survive <laughs> inside. But they're pretty. Where right, are you putting them? Um, Probably just on the kitchen counter, hmm. I think. Why not in the living room? Well, because remember, I don't. Well, I could put a few. Yeah. A few in the living room and a few in the taller vase for the kitchen. Okay, I got some water. Let's start with let's start with this one. This little one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Figure this one could go in the living They're room. They're gonna be too tall. Gerald, that's what scissors are for. Okay. We might just go with the big one. Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's try this one, guys. Little a cat. Come on. See, that'll look great with some white flowers in there. Okay, Gerald, go get us some white flowers. <laughs> And he want us to have white flowers so bad. Cause it needs some dimension, it needs some pop, some okay. contrast. You know what I'm saying? No, but 
Okay. Well, I think this is our final product. Looks pretty good. I think uh, they're starting to droop a little bit more, so we need to get them inside. But I like a pop of spring indoors. You need to come out because you are taking a whole group away. Inside you go. Do we like this here? I wish they were could stand like upright. I'm sure there's some kind of hack that I just don't know about. I'm gonna set these right here for now. We don't have kids, so luckily we can do this right here until our nieces and nephews come. What you got? Yes, love it. Yeah. Hey. All right, we've got that done. And we <coughs> will see y'all in a second so we can start transplanting all of these. <sighs> all right, everyone. Good afternoon. It's time to go ahead and start getting these transplants in and see I wanted to wait till today too because see how cloudy it is worst thing you want to do let's grab one of these the worst thing to do for your seedlings or one of the worst things is to transplant them on a hot sunny day Ugh. they will not appreciate that at all now have I done it in the past yes has it worked? Yes. But more often than not, they then burnt up to a little crisp and I, I, was, I was very sad. So having some good cloud cover is great when you transplant seedlings. They're like little babies, you know what I'm saying? Don't want to stick a baby out so we're sitting in the sun getting cooked up. Especially after going through a traumatic move. Simone won't be with us for the planting. She had a little bit of running around to do. So I'm a little bit of solo dolo for this one. But maybe she'll get back in time to help out. Or maybe I won't get them all planted and we can come back and get the rest in here later. Actually, that's probably what's going to happen. I don't think I'm going to be able to plant all of these by myself today. So we'll just get in as much as we can. The first things we're going to be putting in are this kale and this celery. And what I love to do is I love to sow like two to four seeds per sale and then transplant them a little early. The reason that I transplant them a little early is because they're still small, so they haven't had time to develop a good amount of roots. So if these grow too big, obviously with multiple per sale, the roots will get all tangled together and bound. So I like to transplant when they're young. It allows me to get like two to three times as much produce seed starts in one space as it would if I was just doing one seed per sale. You know what I'm saying? Like I can get two to three times the amount of plants without needing two to three times the amount of equipment. They come apart very, very easily when they're that small. You can separate them real nice. And for the kale, I also the way I space them is I learned something called spacing them on center. So like kale, for example, you're supposed to space them like one foot apart between each plant. And what people will usually do, or what I used to do, and most people still do, is that they'll measure out or they'll do like 12 inches between each of these plants. But for on center planting, so say I have this one in the middle, right? I have six inches this way, six inches that way, which gives it a foot. When they tell you to space them, you know, four inches apart or a foot apart or whatever, they're basing it off of on center planting. So by spacing them 12 feet apart, you're not even 
we're not even doing it right. You can double the amount of produce you get in the space by doing on-center planting, if that makes sense. Usually I would use a string line to do this, but I didn't feel like rigging one up, so. And when you do these, you wanna tickle them apart. You still wanna be gentle with them. Now the best way to plant when you wanna plant multiple per cell is to space them out pretty well. I do one in each corner and then one on the far side, but that just keeps them spaced out far enough where you can peel them apart relatively easily. If they're grouped real close together, it's gonna be a little more difficult. So you can see in that one cell here, 14 plants from a six cell tray. See, getting a little more than double your output without doubling your equipment. All right, I've gotten all of the kale in. I got started on the celery, but it's just raining a bit too much right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for now. We'll leave the transplants up here, let them get some good rain. And the ones I put in are gonna get some good rain as well. And then Simone and I will come back up here whenever it gets done raining, which probably will be a day from now. But for you guys, it'll be right now. Hi. Look who's back to help out. I'm here and he's here. I know you guys are waiting, so let's just cut <laughs> to the chase. Let's get into this surprise. It's right here. Yes, we have. We've been waiting I... to show you this all week, day near. Yes, I've been waiting to show you guys because this is, this is going to be cool. I'm going to get some scissors. Well, you could probably tear it. Yeah. Look, here's another cool surprise. Look at Simone got me. <laughs> I sure needed this. The other one busted. Yeah, I was like, well, what happened to it? It worked one day and then it didn't. It probably froze. It had some water in there and cracked. Oh, that's why we take care of things. And... Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Okay, you guys remember when we put the fence in and at the end of the video or whatever, we were talking about having a sign for Focus here. The grass is getting green. Love it. Focus here. <laughs> anyway, we talked about getting a custom sign for the fence. Well, that's where Joseph from Heritage Home and Decor came in and emailed us and asked us, do we want to partner with him to make a custom sign for our fence? And you guys know we were all over this. Shout out, Joseph. Shout out he to you, Joseph. Thank you so much. We love to support your guys' businesses as well. So this is just a perfect yeah. partnership for us. Yeah, for real. Y'all say, be talking about, oh, I'll probably point out this guy. Y'all be talking about, oh, y'all, y'all can't wait to support us, blah, blah, whatever. We would like to support y'all too. If any of y'all got cool businesses or whatever, we like to support y'all business. Or just tell us what it is and we'll take a look at it, whatever. Yep. So yeah, the sign has arrived and it, it was very quick. It was a very quick process. Joseph was very easy to work with. Yeah, it's here, so let's open it. <laughs> I kind of see it. How do we want to both see it at the same time? Ooh. Maybe we close our eyes? Maybe you set up the tripod. Just pull it out. Just pull it <laughs> Come on. Oh my goodness. You got me waiting just like y'all. See you over here peeking in it. Come on. Okay. Okay, we had to we had to get ourselves resituated. We haven't looked yet. Okay. What? <laughs> what did what you say? I didn't say anything. Okay. I'm gonna keep my let's keep <laughs> Oh my gosh. Are you yeah, okay. I'm not looking. I mean I kinda got an eye open just so I can see the box. You looking okay. at it. She over here looking. Oh. This is nice. It is nice. Well, look at this. Yeah, look up close. You guys, it's beautiful. Look at this here. Yes. Beyond Organic Gardening and Juice. Yes, see, 21. Established what up? 21. Yeah. It's hard finding a good way to hold this where y'all can see. We'll show you on the fence. How about oh, yeah. that? Look at this here. They can see. Does it, is it right no, side no. this way? Oh, this no. way. Yeah, there you go. I'm struggling. Look at this. Love it. I love this tree. All right, we're gonna take it up to the fence. Yeah, we gotta get some supplies first. Made it, people. So hang it Gerald's up there. Gerald's gonna hold it up. Mm, I mean, about right here. We'll be able to look at it in a second. 
Oh, I love it. Yeah. I think we'll go ahead to, I like this here, you can get another one to put on the other door. Yeah. So there's two here. I think that'd be good. Yeah. I like the way it looks right there. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. The sign is up. We got her hung up. Yeah, that would look great if we had one more on that side. We'll definitely have to get another one. We could probably get one for the house, something that says Promise You Acres. It's going to be great. So yeah, once again, shout out to Joseph over at Heritage Home Decor Store. If you guys want a sign of your own, they have a lot of different customizable options and five different colors to choose from. This is the extra large sign, but there's also a large size and a small size. They also have a lifetime guarantee because as you see, we're hanging this one outside, but they're all powder coated. They're built to be okay to, to last outside. Um, in the rain and all the elements um, so you don't have to worry about that if you guys want your own sign you can go to visit their website the link is in the description and he gave us a discount code so our discount code is promise 20 for 20 percent off so definitely use it so you can get some money off now it's time to get to work <laughs> yeah still got the truck packed up so we ah so we gonna snag these trays up out of here the sun is going down, so we don't have a ton of time. We'll probably have to come back again and get some more planted, which is cool. We're not in a real big time crunch or anything, but I wanted to wait a little bit later into the day anyway, because it was super sunny today. And like I said before, you don't want to put your transplants out when the sun beating up on them. So we'll get in as many as we can. Let's focus on these onions. Yeah, guess what we really talking about here. Ooh, y'all don't know how geeked I am about these yeah. onions. These onions, I got something to say. In my <laughs> ideal garden, I would have onions, garlic. What else did I say? <laughs> uh, come on, come on, come on. Carrots. Oh, thank you. Very good, Gerald. Onions, garlic, carrots, um, really, and celery. Like everything you would need to like start a soup. I would love that. And carrots are my favorite thing to pick. I love digging for carrots. Fun. Okay. <laughs> you see, we got this one off random bed over here. That's because this is our own little personal bed for the garden. All these other ones are for the juices and stuff. This is ours. So we plant all type of stuff in here. I've already got most of the other stuff for the juices transplanted in. So we're going to focus on us a little bit today. Starting with the onions. Yep, starting with onions. So y'all know before how I was showing y'all how I split the stuff, like pack a couple in each cell and then split them when it's time to plant. Onions are the easiest things to do this with. Their roots are real like wiry, kind of loose-ish. So they're very, very easy to split apart. Like they just very, very easy with onions. So you can really pack these in you could pack like five or six or seven of these into a cell and be fine. I gotta go run and turn the water on really quick and get my little gift Simone got me. So I'll be right back. Oh, you forgot that too? Yeah. So I'm gonna leave y'all up here with Simone. <laughs> second i'm on my second row gerald's starting on the opposite side yeah we got two rows done we're doing onions along the outside and then we're doing some brassicas in the middle some cabbage some kale some collard greens so we're going to finish up with this row and then i'm going to water these other beds really quickly and depending on if we get done in time or not maybe today I don't think we will in time today. So tomorrow, we'll come back up here real quick 
and then we'll pull these tarps back over the bed since they got some good rain on them. So I really, really, really am really hopeful that we'll be able to get these beds into production this year, probably by the end of the year, maybe by fall season, we'll be able to plant into this. I'm gonna get everything in here killed off, tarp it up real good, pull the tarps back off later, rake this crap out of the way so I can plant into it, and then we should be good. These are really hard to see unless we really get up close with camera, but the beets are finally starting to pop. And that just got me geeked. So because the beets are starting to pop, carrots usually germinate a day or two, sometimes three days after your beets do. So the carrots should be right behind them. So we're, we're getting there. Get in there. My lips feel ashy. Eh, whatever. Anyway, we'll catch y'all in the morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Get everything another quick little wet down. Yeah. And everything was cool. And of course, as soon as we get ready to pull the tarps back over everything, the wind starts blowing. In the opposite direction. Yeah. So, we'll see how this goes. Yeah. <laughs> It'll probably blow away. Ooh. Glad that's done. Finished. Whew. Let's see. Right, all wrapped up there. Because it's getting warm out, we deal with lots of ticks and stuff out here. So if any of y'all have any solutions or ideas or anything for how to deal with these, please let us know. Please. Because they be everywhere out here. Everywhere. They be on us. Maybe on our cats. Maybe all over the place. That's why we have to wear long sleeves and things. So yeah, usually we'll. What we do usually do is we'll tuck all of our high like, socks. We wear socks or long pants or whatever. We're up to the garden. We'll tuck them into our socks or boots or whatever. And then when we get done, we go inside. We take our clothes off, throw them in the dryer, you know, to kill any ticks that may be on us. Mm -hmm. And then we do a quick inspection of each other. Yeah. But. Uh, I mean, I think we'll keep doing that anyway, but if there are any, like, I don't know, like, nice natural sprays, yeah, sprays. or repellents or something y'all know of. Anything, please. Drop a comment, let shoot us, us an email, let us know something, please. Also for mosquitoes, because that's coming too. Oh, goodness. Last year we didn't have barely any mosquitoes. We had, like, a It was a, a drought. drought. You know, it was a drought last year, so. That's why a lot of this grass is brown, has turned brown. I mean, it's going to turn brown anyway, but. It didn't even get a chance to stay green last year. But it's growing back, as you can see. It's on the way. The meadows are on their way back. Yes. For sure. But that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys for watching with us. We got some plants in. We got the tarps pulled off and back over to get those weeds killed off to get those beds into production. Got some nice flowers picked. Yeah. Got a... Uh, what else did we do? <laughs> um... We did really? do something. We got the sign. Shout out oh, to us sign. again for the, the sign. sign. We got that hung. Yes. So, the warm season is here. It's Stuff is getting good. rolling. And we're going to take you guys along with us every step of the way. So stay tuned All for right. the next video. See y'all next week. Bye. Peace.